I did something that I say I'm never gonna do. So, you know, who am I gonna take fashion advice from? A little bit about our day. We started out with a thyroid check for Joseph this morning, and then I did something that I say I'm never gonna do, and that is I took Joseph, Peter, and Maria to Target. I have not been to Target, um, like in over a year, I would imagine. I don't, I don't even really remember when. I don't have one just in my like local vicinity here, and so I just rarely, rarely go there. Anyway, went to Target, and that's actually what the whole video here is gonna be about today. I wanna show you guys um, the things that I picked up, just kind of putting together some fun outfits for uh, winter, because in Wisconsin here, it just seems like so many of the winter outfits that I see are just not practical, because they're either um, with like spiky high heel shoes, or I don't know, just so many of them are just not practical. And so I tried to put together a few new outfits for myself for uh, this winter that are pretty practical. I mean, I'm not going to go sledding in them, but um, they're pretty practical outfits. And um, I didn't break the bank and just tried to get something that just kind of freshened up my wardrobe a little bit. The shirt I'm actually wearing here with this like little bit of kind of a purplish camo. I did pick this up about a month ago or more maybe at Maurice's and really, really like this shirt. I like that it's three quarter length sleeves and yeah, Maurice's just has this brand. I wish I could see what it says right now, but um, they have a brand that they have on sale often for very inexpensive. I think this shirt was like $14, I want to say. Um, but anyway, Joe wants to say hello. 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 You are waiting patiently to watch Toy Story, aren't you? Yes. Did you get all your cars picked yeah. up? Yes. Are you sure? Let's go yes. check. Let's go check. What do we have? You did. You picked him up. Yeah. Wow. Nice job. Okay. As soon as I finish talking, we can put in Toy Story, okay? So like I said, I do want to share with you guys um, some of the outfits I put together here today, but it's just not like me to not share food. So I'm going to be making a salad for supper tonight. It is called shrimp, avocado, and roasted corn salad. I'm sort of, I think I'm pretty much following the recipe. I did make up the dressing already, and here it is. Um, this looks like a blender bottle lid, but it really isn't. It's actually a lid that is made specifically for the wide mouth canning jars. Amber uses these all the time, like when she saves coffee to make iced coffee in the morning or whenever she wants to make it. Anyway, um, so I made up the dressing. This is buttermilk and mayo and um, store-bought pesto. I just used a couple tablespoons of onion and I minced it as little as I could. Some lemon juice, a pinch of salt, a couple uh, cranks of pepper, and that's what I have in here. I shook it up really, really good. I just have it in the fridge. So the gist of the salad is this. You're supposed to use a couple ears of sweet corn, but that was not going to work this time of year, so I just bought this fire roasted. I didn't even know it was something available, but I bought the fire roasted corn and it called for four, no, three strips of bacon. I actually have five strips of bacon here min diced up because I'm going to fry that a little bit later when it's time for supper. And then I have some shrimp here, and I thawed the shrimp so that those would cook up really fast. I'm actually going to put these out on some paper towels and get them really dry so that when I fry them up in some of the bacon grease, they get nice and uh, golden brown. So the shrimp aren't even seasoned. They're just, I don't think so. No, they're just seasoned from the bacon grease and then the other flavors. And then there's also going to be a sliced, what does it say? One avocado peeled, pitted, and diced. So I'm going to dice up this avocado as well. We're going to put that all onto a pile of lettuce. It calls for romaine, but we still cannot get romaine at our grocery store. And so um, they've been substituting with just head lettuce lately. Even leaf lettuce uh, they didn't have. So I had to get uh, head lettuce, but that's okay. Um, so I have that already, and that's going to be supper. I am going to put out some applesauce, and I might do some hot dogs, just because I don't think that the kids are all going to want this. They might want some bacon, and they might want some lettuce, but I don't think they're going to want the rest of this. But this is what Warren and me, and most likely Amber when she gets home from work, is going to eat. But let's move on to the fun part, which is the clothing. I don't know if you guys like to shop for clothing or not. I... I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with it. I don't, I don't, I do love shopping. I love 
and I love new clothes. I mean, I just do. I don't do it all that often just because I'm pretty frugal. Uh, when it comes to clothing, a lot of times I end up just shopping at like Goodwill or we have like little consignment shops and stuff like that, little thrift shops. I shop there or um, I'll shop like Walmart um, clearance racks. And I mean, the stuff that's left over on the clearance racks at Walmart it's left over for a reason. So often it just doesn't fit very well. Um, yeah. So anyway, let me just uh, turn the camera around here and show you what I got. I'm going to make my bed first though. <laughs> okay. I just kind of did a halfway job on the bed. I hope that you guys were okay with that. I just pulled the covers up. We had to get out the door by 7.30 this morning um, for Joseph's doctor appointment, which was at 8.30. Um, and so that was, yeah, it was, it was tricky. Um, to to get everybody moving. It's funny because on mornings when we don't have to go anywhere, I've got three little kids and they're up at 5, 10 in the morning, right? But then when you do have to go someplace, this morning I think it was about 7, 10 and I was finally getting Maria up. I couldn't believe she was sleeping that long. So, okay, so here are the things that I picked up. I just kind of want to go through the different things and show you. I might try it on for you guys just to give you kind of some peeks into... Um, just putting together outfits. I love looking at how people put together outfits. Like, I like looking at how people put together outfits so much so that when I'm at the store, sometimes I feel like people might think I'm watching, like looking at them and judging them. Um, and it's not that I, I am looking at them. I'm not judging them in a negative way. It's just if they're like in the clothing department, like today at Target, there was another uh, woman. She looked to be probably 32 to 36, somewhere in there. And she just had nice style. And I was kind of looking at how she wore her vest and, and that just to kind of get some ideas of, oh, I like the length, how her pants hit right by the line of her boot and that. And it just gives me some um, ideas because I do not come up with really any fashion styles on my own. It's just, it's just not me. I kind of need to look at a few pictures and then kind of put things together to go, well, you know, that's a good look on me or that's a color I like. And then from there, um, I can try to, you know, then I look at like other outfits and try to put things together. Okay. Really, I am going to show you everything. So here's a shirt that I picked up at Walmart. Now, one thing I noticed with Walmart sizing, like this is an extra large, and I do think it's slightly big, but um, I did want it to kind of lay real smooth and be kind of flowy. I just kind of wanted that little bit of like oversized boyfriend, I guess, style, or I should say husband style um, uh, flannel kind of look. But I also didn't want it to be that thick flannel that was like sticking to my jeans and stuff. So this is kind of like a real flowy kind of flannel uh, or fabric. And like I said, I picked it up in an extra large. I think the large would have been fine, but I just wanted it to have that little bit of kind of um, flowiness to it. So that I thought I could just kind of put together um, like with a pair of blue jeans. Okay, so I have been into the cheetah print and I've liked it for a long, long time. Never owned anything until yesterday. Well, I, I should take that back. I did order a few things from Amazon over the last few weeks and I've sent all of it back because I didn't like any of it. it. I just, I didn't like the way it hung on me, just everything about it. So I thought I'm just not going to have to be able to do that whole online thing. Um, Okay, so this here I picked up. Oh, and I'll tell you, this I think was $20, about 1988. Let me see if I have a tag. Something I bought at Walmart didn't have a tag, which was a real bummer. Then they had to go search it. Yeah, I don't see a tag on there. But Okay, so I got this from Walmart. And then I also did pick up these cheetah print pants. These were on clearance <laughs> for $5. And at first that should have been my my clue that they, you know, weren't going to be the greatest pants or whatever, but actually they're not bad. Yesterday I thought I was going to return them because I just couldn't find something to go with it. I came home, I put on this really long sweater that I have, like one of these really long, I don't even know, dusters I guess it's called. Sorry for the bedroom mess in the background. We've got Christmas presents getting delivered. But um, so I put on that long duster and I didn't like the way that looked at all. Warren thought it was decent. He liked it. Um, Amber wasn't too into it. So so, you know, who am I going to take fashion advice from? Probably, probably a little of both, from both Warren and Amber. Okay, so these are $5. I didn't return them right away just because I thought there was still hope if I could find the right top, and I am so happy I kept them because 
today I did find the right top. I did buy like a zip up hoodie from Walmart too and again I brought it home. I did try it out in the store and I liked it. Peter didn't like it but I, I, I'm going to take that back. So here's what I did find at Target though. So I have not been in Target for at least one full year and I did pick up this little um, cheetah print camisole because I thought maybe that I'd like something a little less, you know, not quite so woo as pants, but maybe just something a little bit less. And this, I love this little camisole. This was $17.99. It was not on sale. And I love how it looks with the blue jeans and then this long black duster sweater over top of it. And then I did pick up this. This was a tw um, was $12. Just a standard black t-shirt. I've had a number of times lately where I wished I had had a long sleeve black shirt. And so I just picked up one of those. And then this. I love this. I'm thinking of going back and getting another color. I'm going to try these things on for you in a few minutes here. But this here... Um, this brand, A New Day at Target... Um, I, I may I don't know if it's new or not because like I said I don't shop there often. But this was $19.99, but it was on sale for $10, and so I was really thrilled. It's thin. Um, Amber said she couldn't see through it as long as I wore the right color, you know, undergarments. And but it's so incredibly soft. I've been getting kind of hot lately, if you guys know what I mean. And so um, this, I thought, was something that I could still wear and be comfortable and not too overly hot. Okay, this I picked up. This was on their clearance at Target. This was $2.40. So this I picked up as just kind of, it's a heathered denim blue t-shirt. Again, this one I got in a large. I think the medium would have fit well, but I looked and this is 100% cotton. And I noticed that a lot of things tend to shrink in length. And so then you get this like weird boxy but short shirt. I just don't like that fit. So I wanted it to remain long enough. And then I did pick up two pairs of jeans. I'm so happy to find these jeans. They fit so perfectly. Um, that is rare. I'm hippie with a smaller waist and so I get waist gap constantly. But these jeans, I got these here in a 12 short and I was really happy to find a short. These are the high rise jeggings so they actually um, come all the way to my belly button and just walking around the house in them, this wasn't uh, rolling which was nice. So I got that in two colors. And the other thing so great about these, these were $25 or $24.99, um, not on sale. Um, but what I love about these is that they don't have any rips. I do not buy ripped jeans, and um, so I was thrilled. The last time that I bought myself a pair of new jeans, Joseph was in the hospital with pneumonia, and he was two. He's now 11. That pair of jeans just ripped in the thigh the other day. I was like, I knew it was getting so thin. And the other day, we were actually in town, and I was like, oh my gosh, my pants just ripped. Like a big old rip. That, was, that wasn't good. But um, So I picked up two of these. These are the jeggings, so there's no front pockets, just fake front pockets, but they do have back pockets. Nice placement, so they don't, you know, I don't know. You just have to get the right placement of pockets. And then I picked up two pairs of shoes. So remember when I was saying that it just seems like it's hard to find shoes that you can wear in like snowy weather. Well, these are not fantastic, but they're better than just kind of a stiletto style. And I love wearing high heels, but trying to walk on ice is like nearly impossible. So I did get these. These are like a flocked um, kind of, not velvet, but whatever, flocked or suede or something like that, microfiber, whatever it is. Um, and these are black and uh, just love these. They fit really, really well. And then I've have been wanting to get a pair of these just sort of like little comfy tennies. They're dressier than just a basic athletic shoe, but they have a lot of cushion. They actually match my winter coat. They don't necessarily have to match my outfit because you never see what's under my coat in the winter. All right, so I think I should try on some of these outfits for you guys so you can see how I'm kind of styling these up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just kind of starting with a casual look. So this is the... Um, that kind of flannel style shirt from Walmart. Like I said, it's, it has plenty of room in it, but that's how I wanted it. I wanted to be able to 
I wanted to be able to wear it, you know, just kind of loose so it just kind of hung. And I'm pairing it here with my lighter uh, jeggings. And then I did put on a little pair of um, just kind of like Western boots. These I picked up a few years ago, actually from Goodwill. Still wearing them, $9.99. I think I've gotten my dollars out of those but um just kind of a nice casual look this is the, just totally the kind of thing that i'd wear here in wisconsin when it's you know snowy and whatnot so next week we're supposed to be having one of those polar blasts moving through again i have this on the right direction right now or not um but oh no i don't okay just a second here <laughs> this is the kind of thing i have it on backwards but you guys get the picture it looks just the same from the back except it doesn't have a seam down the uh, cowl neck okay so this is totally the kind of thing that i would be wearing next week uh, this is that black shirt that i just bought that was kind of one of the reasons why i wanted a black shirt was to wear under this gray um, poncho that i have and this is just you know it's nice and warm and then i paired it still with the same jeans and I cannot see if I'm holding this right or not. And then I also paired it with these little boots here. So what I'm happy about these jeans, if you are a shorter woman, they actually come in short. So they hit right at the ankle, right where they're supposed to for boots. So um, this, again, super nice, easy outfit to wear. And I mean, really, if it was really, really cold, I'd probably just put some wool socks on with this, even if it covered up my ankles and whatever and call it good because I'd want to be warm. So, okay, let's do the next outfit. Okay, so here is another casual yet comfy outfit. This is the one, uh, this is like that kind of just real soft sweater. So it is a longer, looser sweater here kind of fun to just i'm um, kind of flowy i also like just kind of tucking one side a little bit just gives it a little bit of um, shape here and then i paired this with the darker blue jeans and then also the um uh, olive colored slides and so i just thought this kind of feels a little bit sporty but yet still dressed up um sorry can you hear our <laughs> our floorboards they squeak so bad right here All right it's just a nice just a nice mom outfit i think okay so this time i have on the cheetah print shirt from target and then i kept it with the dark jeans or the the dark jeggings and then this is just a duster black duster that i got from walmart uh last I think actually two years ago it's starting to get a little bit tattered i have some loose threads and stuff but i love it i wear it all the time and i wasn't ready to replace it and to really take this outfit up a notch i paired it with these um heels i just thought that these heels were fun with this outfit i think this makes a really really great date night uh, outfit it's kind of fun to wear feels a little bit different than just kind of the everyday mom wear right but um, still comfy because it's jeans and you know I feel like I could go into a little bit nicer restaurant or I could go to Culver's and you know I'd, I'd be good so anyway this is a favorite outfit and Warren and I our anniversary is actually coming up and we're gonna be um, taking a little trip and so I'm really looking forward to that and that was kind of what spurred this on we're gonna be going to um, a pretty nice restaurant and one of the nights and there's gonna be music there and stuff like that so I just kind of wanted to um, have something kind of fresh and kind of fun to wear in my book in my world this is probably the most wild of all the outfits so back to just the basic uh, cream colored sweater here and then I teamed it up with these leopard print pants as well as the high heels and um, I think this is just kind of a fun outfit again I think this would be fun as a date night outfit or um, I I personally would even wear this to church um, maybe it's a little bit loud but I guess I've never really shied away from um, <laughs> wearing loud clothes I don't think I do it often but if I had them I would wear them so um, yeah so that is it if I would say that I have like an, a favorite favorite thing it definitely would be this sweater I hope you guys like this kind of peek into my wardrobe a little bit this is definitely a little outside of my comfort zone to kind of share like this here on my channel because I am just so much about um, motherhood and homeschooling and um, 
just you know deer hunting and all that kind of thing but you know what I, I still I'm a woman and I love to dress up and I love to um, get some new clothes every now and then and you know it's definitely and and it's fun to do it kind of on a budget too I'm not one that wants to just run out and spend you know $75 on some new item or something like that pretty much $25 is about my top I feel like whoo that's getting pricey so um yeah, I just, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it gives you a little bit of inspiration to kind of maybe step outside of the box a little bit and just go for it. If you find something and you just love it and you feel good in it, that really is the key. And I guess that's why I finally kept these pants because when I did try them on, I felt good in them. They fit well and they're the right length and you know, they don't have any weird gapping. It was just finding the right shirt. And when I came home yesterday and I tried on and tried on what I had, I just couldn't make it work. So that was why I'm so happy I kept them and I ended up finding this sweater and I really love how it looks. So, so that is it for today's video. Um, except I am going to try to pop back in here and flash a picture of our salad when it's all done. I'm Hopefully I can remember to do that. I hope that you're all having a very blessed Advent and that you're finding ways to keep Christ in Christmas as you prepare for the big event. And with that, we're going to end. Have a great night, guys. Bye.